watched all the, the chances for Bayern, 31 on the <laughs> night, Owen, but PSG just making the most of theirs. They did. They were clinical. I think if Lewandowski's playing with those 31 attempts, then Bayern probably get, you know, at least four or five. And uh, they, I thought Bayern played really well. They played really well. But I think what we said before the game with Mbappe and Neymar at the top of the pitch, you know, they, they, they posed that threat. And Mbappe, again, he lit up the Barcelona in the camp now and he, and he, he lit up the Allianz Arena again tonight. So credit, credit to them. But uh, I thought um, Bayern played really well. They were just vulnerable yeah. at the back tonight. Did PSG surprise you at all tonight? No, I, I fully expected them to play like that. We know from last year how high uh, Bayern Munich play. Um, they're not at their strongest defensively this evening. So you fully expected Paris Saint-Germain to try and exploit them with the pace of Mbappe and the pace of Neymar. But certainly it was Mbappe's evening tonight. I'm with Owen. I thought the game was a brilliant game, mm. a great spectacle to watch. And sometimes it's great when Bayern go behind because you know that they just pile forward time and time and time again. And, um, you know, to create that many chances, the tie is certainly not over. That's what we can say. We know how vulnerable PSG are at home. Yeah. And the way they attack Bayern Munich, it all depends on personnel, of course, next week. Who's fit, who's not fit. You see Mbappe limping at the end. They need him fit and well. But I thought it was a brilliant spectacle for the Champions League. Yeah, injuries stacking up for, for mm. both of them. You couldn't take your eyes off that game. Advantage at PSG in the other quarter final tonight. A big win tonight for Paris Saint-Germain in Munich. Three away goals for Mauricio Pochettino's side. But Bayern's performance will give them confidence heading into that second leg. Owen and Steve watching with me. And Owen, it was a, an enthralling match, wasn't it? That, that got off to the best possible start and just continued in that manner. Yeah, brilliant game of football, as, as Maka said. And we were saying, who's going to win? You know, is it the better team, the better balance team in Bayern Munich? Is it going to be the two star players who stepped up? And then PSG spent a fortune on Neymar and Mbappe. And the reason why was for them to make a difference in a game like this. And you'd have to say, Mbappe and Neymar, they stole the show, especially in the first half. They weren't, they didn't create that many opportunities, but the ones they created, they took. And they were, that's what you pay the money for to make the difference. And they did today. And they took the lead after just a, a couple of minutes. It was Mbappe with the goal, but made by Neymar. Yeah, I mean, Neymar had two assists. Mbappe will get the credit, of course, because he had the two goals. But Neymar here working hard, 1-2 with Di Maria. And his thought process was excellent. Drives in, in field, puts Mbappe in. Neuer's almost leaving the far right-hand corner for Mbappe to shoot into. But he actually goes near post and the power just... To a certain extent, bamboozles Neuer, doesn't it? Because he's already moving right. And then he has to jump left and almost try and punch the ball. And just goes underneath him and squirms into the net. But it was a great start. You know, 30 seconds prior to that, they'd already made the chance um, by a Munich. So it set the tone for the game. And it was Marquinhos, the captain, who, who doubled the lead. Another assist for Neymar. Yeah, that's a brilliant early ball. You know, it, it doesn't look like much, but he means that. He knows that Bayern are trying to step out. Sula just switches off. Fabulous first touch from Marquinhos, who's... I mean, we talk about Neymar and Mbappe, but Marquinhos is arguably one of the most important yeah. players. He's such an important player. When he went off, they really started to struggle. So two huge goals put them in an unbelievable position. But I still think, even though Bayern lost, I thought they played really, really well. Created 31 opportunities, the most in the game this season. But, but no Lewandowski, and that was that was the big difference. Yeah, they had so many chances to, to get a goal back in, in that first half. They did get one back before half-time. It was Chupa Motti, uh, with a header. He actually played really well, Chupa Motti. I thought he led the line pretty well, didn't he, Maka? And yeah. Pavard put a great ball in for him, and he attacked that like Lewandowski. And you just wonder if Lewandowski's playing, of those 31 opportunities, how many does Lewandowski get? Because, you know, Sane had a quiet game, Coleman had a quiet game. Uh, Muller played OK. They created enough. They just yeah. went clinical, were they? they just, uh, Kingsley Coleman and uh, Leroy Sane were really dangerous, weren't they? But that final ball, that, that final decision-making in the last third, but this was another wonderful ball. Two heads of goals from Bayern Munich today. You expect them to, to create more cutting-edge chances, but I thought Muller's movement was excellent. He runs it in and around, almost like an arc. Keeps himself on side, just the, the merest glance. And from that position, you thought they'd go on and win the game, buying because it was just all buying, attacking and attacking. Wave after but wave. But they just keep getting caught out, and that's how they play. They play push right up the field with the fullbacks push really high, and unfortunately, just got caught by um, the speed of Neymar. Uh, excuse, excuse me. The, speed of Mbappe again. It was a clinical counter-attack from, from PSG, wasn't it, to, to retake the lead? Look, he's fabulous. And the th last thing you want to do is get in a situation like this. Boateng, uh, 
against Mbappe there and Neymar there. It's just, you're not going to win that battle, 1v1. You just that little delay, that's class. You know, people, looks like he, he shoots in between Boateng's legs, but he's just waiting for that moment there. Just that little delay there, that is fabulous. Yeah. And the uh, thing is, when they, get, when they get an early lead and then they get that space on the counter, like they did at, at Barcelona, pff, these guys, you're not going to want to play them. Even if you're a great Bayern Munich side, that guy, he's only got a year left on his contract, Lindsay. I mean, everybody is just going to be mm. queuing up because on that form, he's, he's unplayable. Do you think they'll cash in this summer and do you think someone could get him, even though it'll be a lot of money, <laughs> could actually be cut price, really? It, it will be a cut price. <laughs> Neymar's only got a year left. Mbappe's got a year left. They're under a lot of pressure, PSG. I think for Poch and for PSG... That performance is huge for them because hopefully they can find a way to tie them both down. Neymar at 29, probably not as essential as Mbappe, but Mbappe at 20, what was he, 22 Two. now? 22. With a year left. I mean, that is that, that doesn't happen. He's got all the cards. You just have to decide what he wants to do. You were saying before the game that perhaps you think he might need to move to continue mm. his development. Do you think that would change if they go on to win the Champions League PSG? I think a lot of things have to change within the um, the whole system at, at, um, at Paris Saint-Germain. It looks as if the players are more powerful than everybody else. <laughs> and sometimes it looks it looks bad at times. They look quite arrogant at times. I think they do need to get over the line and win the Champions League and maybe things will start to turn around. But you can see that no one can control the players. It was the same when Thomas Tuchel was there. It was the same with the managers previous to him. If anything happened in the team, the manager got the manager got sacked, didn't he? And a new manager came in. And again, Neymar was the number one uh, person in the group. You couldn't control him. And Mbappe second. So I think one of them may have to leave. And if you're Paris Saint-Germain, you're more uh, adept to keeping uh, Mbappe, the yeah. French man, you know, and then you can build your team around him and then strengthen likewise and build Paris Saint-Germain into a team rather than just a group of two or three really powerful individuals. Yeah, eight goals in his last four oh, in the Champions amazing, League. Yeah. He means amazing. business this season. We'll get some reaction now from Munich because Julian Draxler is with Archie Vintert. Well, Julian Draxler, you know as a team... I think uh, we saw what a great team they have. Uh, always dangerous for us, was very hard to defend. And in the end, we have a lot of quality uh, in our attacking, uh, in our attack, in our attack. And that's why we scored three goals. And finally, we, we could take the win. What do you think the team learnt from last year's Champions League final coming into this one? I think it's hard to compare because the final is very special. It's only one game. And now we have uh, two matches. So the... the the win was really, really important today. We scored three goals and uh, we go home uh, very happy tonight. Talk to me about your teammate, Kylian Mbappe. He had a very good night this evening. Yes, that's, uh, that's what he's there for because he has a quality like no one else in the world and we need his speed. And uh, in the moment, uh, yeah, he, he has chances and he scores and it's uh, really, really important for us, uh, especially tonight against the big Bayern side. And how do you analyse the return leg against Bayern. They're still not going to have Robert Lewandowski, still lots of quality there, but you had to soak up a lot of pressure tonight as a team. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, we had a lot of hard work to do tonight because uh, the way they play is really dangerous uh, with Lewandowski or without Lewandowski. And uh, it's going to be uh, the same hard work in the, in the next game against them. And uh, we're going to play home in Paris and uh, we try to win again and go through to the next round. Yeah, they've only gone beyond the quarter-final twice. We say it every year, but could this finally be their season? Well, they got close last year, didn't they? Really close and lost a really good Bayern Munich side. I think with Neymar and Mbappe at the top of the pitch, obviously they've got every chance. Navas in goal again made some big saves, but the way... You just... We're not sure, are we? The, no. You know, who's going to show up? When Mbappe and Neymar play like that, they can beat everyone, like they did in Barcelona, but... Um, I think this far from over this tie yeah, with yeah, Bayern Munich. Yeah. I think they were fortunate, Paris, that, that Lewandowski didn't play today. Yeah, 31 attempts, as you said, for Bayern Munich tonight. They'll just need to be more... Coleman to step up. Nabry, maybe he could be back fit. That could be, that could be huge for them as well. But I thought Thomas Muller played, played pretty well. So um, they've got the players there and they created the opportunities. They just need to be clinical. Yeah, we can't wait for next week now. Can't Such wait. a good game to look forward to. Don't forget as well, our European action... Can